clasp your hands in greed because we've got some awesome Vita news indeed. Yeah, that works. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James, you know, that weird guy that occasionally talks about the PS Vita <clears throat> every now and then. This is PS Vita at 2am, and if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Yep, that's right, we're still getting Vita news. I know, I can't believe it myself, and we have a ton of stuff to cover in today's episode, video, segment thing, whatever you want to call this. And be sure to tell me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of what you think about all of this news, most of which is awesome, excellent news actually it's all good and might just get you hot and bothered and with that mental picture now in your memory let's go the individuals who brought you the totally awesome physical release and digital release of halloween forever you know that really cool platform game that was really really hard and it made me possibly toss out my controller or my vita out the window depending on how you look at things oh and might i add that the main character also barfs out candy corns they have one more physical release that they have announced guys and this will sadly be their last the twitter post comes from Wolfgang Woznik, I'm only guessing here, and he said this, we have one last physical Vita game coming, this is it, the last Vita release from us, if you love that thing, and I know we all do, you'll follow at work with Poppy for news on it. So this is a bittersweet post here, because although it is going to be great to see that they're going to be releasing one last final physical release for us, it's also sad because, it, well, it's going to be their last. Oh, and at the time of this recording, we don't yet know what physical release that's going Going to be. Oh, they're keeping us in anticipation. I'm anticipating this right now. I salute the Poppy Works. Thank you for giving us barfing pumpkins. So if you're an enamel pin lover, I bet you thought there would be nobody on earth that would use those two words in a single sentence. That wasn't even dirty and my mind still went there. Then I have some most excellent of excellent news for you. Jess, that individual who was infamous with making so many awesome PS Vita themed pins, enamel pins, I, I, I think they're enamel, I don't know much about it, has got some new themes coming up in her catalog. And as we can see from her post here, most Vita cartridges, acrylic pin designs, okay, I guess that's sort of enamel? I don't know. Can't wait to get these made. Hashtag Vita Island. She's got a Hyper Dimension Neptunia, a Miku revision, and uh, I believe that's Atelier Ro Rorona, I think? Been a long time since I played the game. And the future is looking bright for her store, which you can purchase on Etsy, which I will have down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of her pins. She's got a wide variety of them, and these are the ones that are going to be coming very soon. Luke Bernard's trophy list for his game Death Tales has officially dropped online, which uh, makes complete sense because people are slowly starting to receive their copies from PlayAsia. So if you were really curious as to what type of trophies you can expect to get, then you can check it out online now as we speak. Though keep in mind that this game is available as a physical release only. Oh, and speaking of games that are going to be physical only, East Asia Soft has officially confirmed that Roommates, that visual novel that released not too long ago through PlayAsia's website, will only be available as a physical release as well. Which kind of seems to be a running theme with games we're seeing the Rod Lake a stamp on. Which I guess makes sense. Piggy, we still haven't forgiven you for what you've done. So yeah, if you are looking forward to playing this game, physical is the only way to go. And for uh, any scalpers that are out there, you didn't hear me say that. Hey, I'm making pretty good segue here. You know what they say, there's a first time for everything. For anybody out there who was interested in the game Roommates, you'll be happy to know that Top Hat Studios has announced that the game Synergia, a title that we were not 100% sure was even coming to Vita, the dev was working on it on their spare time, is a reality. Or is going to be a reality because I'm talking in future sense here. And frankly, I don't get it either. And if you don't know what Synergia is all about, it's about a woman who falls in love with her refrigerator. Oh, I mean robot. Here's a description. Synergia is a Yuri thriller visual novel that takes place in a cyberpunk future wrapped up in a beautifully unique vibrant neon aesthetic at the end of the world sometimes love is the ultimate crime hey i've actually thought about getting it on with my toaster in the past so it's all good hey and gotta give them credit where credit is due here they gave us a pretty nifty picture of it running on the vita so we know that this is not all just flavor talk
And probably the bit of news here that I'm most curious about is a new game called Seraphim. This comes from a developer called Studio Ravenheart. They said this, can cool corroborate. Is that a word? I'm coding at the moment and just noticed this discussion. Seraphim will be on Vita, hashtag Vita Island. Now at the time I'm recording this, we don't have any actual gameplay footage to go on, but we do have a very cool, sleek looking design here in his art. Some sort of mecha monster like dude or something like that. I'm assuming this is part of the game, at least I hope so. When I did in fact try to Google Seraphim and I only ended up getting this picture. Hmm. I don't think this has anything to do with his up and coming game. If it does, heck, I gotta give him credit. It has awesome graphics. Oh, and if we're gonna be rocking both cowboys and mechs, I am completely sold on this concept. And hey, why not? Cowboys and mechs are cool. Nope, game does not probably include cowboys and mechs. All these upcoming releases not enough for you? Well, how does a another upcoming release sound? Yeah, Suicide Robot Games had this to say. My game Hand Cannon Janky Reality is still coming to hashtag Vita as well. I am shooting for early quarter two. The conveyor belt and physics engine in action. The game may be one bit, but the engine is a bit more advanced. <laughs> I see what you did, pun. Hashtag game dev, hashtag Vita Island. And I, the way I personally look at this game is like a sausage maker. If sausages were made out of like boxes and crates and were one bit. Yeah, and for some reason, Hand Cannon Janky. I just can't say that name with a straight face. Alright guys, well, Vita News seems to be moving along quite swimmingly. Everything that I talked about in this segment was absolutely 100% positive news and stuff that we can look forward to in the year 2021, but I got a feeling this ain't gonna be all the news we're gonna be getting. That's what they call foreshadowing. And be sure to tell me which was your favorite part of this segment down in the comments section below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Bush and Ryu Cat, Frayden, Makise Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Nyorarashi, Milk Sama, Azcorp, Zecrito, Joseph Raismick, Jesus Hernandez, Kayonko, Burz and Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Ronan Alganto, Matt Hargit, Saqib Alam, Kabul Trapa, Azumara, Jackie, Donut Veli, Rump King, Dr. Super Arty, Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imbert, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Erock, Pierce Sterner, Adam Theory, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Clayton Merlarkey, Joshua Williams, Jared Hudo, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Lori Sweeney, Jelly, Mario Cruz, and Larry Anderson. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much at making this channel grow. Okay, this video has way too much awkward Pikachu in it. Thank <laughs> you.